With three words, Elon Musk broke the silence and turned the industry upside down. No more lithium. It wasn't just a warning. It was practically a sentence for what, until yesterday, was considered irreplaceable in the world of electric vehicles. What seemed insane is now reality. Tesla has officially announced the aluminum ion battery as the new heart of the highly anticipated 2026 Model 2. More stable, incredibly abundant, and with a price tag that will make the market gasp, just $1,195. That's right, less than $2,000 for something that promises to shatter everything known about vehicle energy. Musk isn't just betting on a new type of battery. He's proposing a new paradigm. Lithium, while revolutionary, has revealed its limitations. It's expensive, scarce, explosive, and relies on an increasingly questionable mining chain. Meanwhile, aluminum, the third most abundant element in the Earth's crust, is literally beneath our feet. And with the world facing unprecedented energy pressure, Elon has decided to anticipate the future. A future that, to the surprise of many, has already begun to be delivered on the assembly line. Tesla's announcement didn't just surprise its competitors, it exposed how fragile the foundations of the current industry are. Range anxiety, long recharge times, prohibitive prices. All of this is being dismantled piece by piece with a battery that promises to solve the main bottlenecks all at once. And that, honestly, is rare. Usually, when one technology problem is solved, another emerges. But here, the proposal is different. It's as if someone discovered a flaw in the game and put all the pieces in place. Of course, the initial reaction was skeptical. It always is. After all, how many times have revolutions been promised that ended up evaporating? But with Tesla, it's different. It doesn't play games. When it announces, it's already producing. And when it says it's cheap, it's because it found a way to cut out middlemen, reduce the cost of raw materials, and manufacture at an absurd scale. And that's exactly what's happening now. The Model 2 with an aluminum battery isn't a concept. It's a real product with a set date, factories activated, and a final price announced. One detail that almost went unnoticed amidst the hoopla was safety. While lithium batteries still face risks of overheating and explosions, aluminum batteries offer thermal stability that seems straight out of science fiction. Even under extreme temperatures or violent impacts, the behavior of these new cells is so predictable that the containment system doesn't even need to be so robust. And do you know what this means? Less weight, more space, lower costs, more freedom to innovate in the car's design and structure. Some say this change is too bold, that it's too early, that the market isn't ready yet. But those who follow Musk closely know he never waits for the market's permission. He creates the tide and lets others drown or learn to surf. And now, with the global lithium crisis intensifying and governments seeking cleaner, more affordable solutions, the aluminum battery arrives with surgical timing. And let's face it, the guy has that gift. He doesn't launch an idea into chaos. He shapes chaos to make it work. Now that lithium has been left behind, the question that most bothers Tesla's competitors is, how the hell did they manage to make this battery cost so little? The number sticks in everyone's mind. $1,195 for a 60 kilowatt pack. It's almost a provocation. And what's behind this unbelievable price is an ingenious combination of industrial strategy, cutting-edge technology, and basic math. Aluminum costs 7 to 12 times less than lithium. That alone would be a game-changer. But Tesla went further. Much further. While other automakers still rely on external suppliers for every part of the production chain, Tesla has decided to integrate everything from raw material extraction to the final cell inside the car. And it's not just about control, it's about raw efficiency. With factories spread across Fremont, Berlin, Shanghai, Texas, and now Mexico, the brand can operate with global scale and local agility. It's as if each factory were a cog 
in a giant machine, synchronized to the millisecond. And then comes aerosol fusion, a name that sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but which defines the new manufacturing process developed with the University of Texas. Instead of using wet pastes and absurdly high energy processes, as with traditional lithium, Tesla applies a dry technique, inherited from the acquisition of Maxwell Technologies back in 2019. At the time, no one understood the move. Today, it seems like a silent checkmate. With this method, the company cuts up to 70% of energy consumption and also reduces factory space by half. It's no exaggeration to say that this efficiency borders on brutal. While Ford and GM are still competing for high-priced batteries with Chinese and Korean suppliers, Tesla is already mass-producing its own modules, with an estimated cost per kilowatt-hour of $30, a third of the current cost of lithium. This means the company can literally put a long-range battery in a car and still make a profit without charging consumers a fortune. It's nearly impossible to compete with someone who manufactures their own product on a global scale and still profits where others lose money. Tesla has become a factory for cutting out middlemen. While rivals are tied to expensive contracts, slow logistics, and unstable suppliers, Musk operates like someone playing chess against a pile of pawns. And his every move seems to have been calculated two years in advance. The Model 2 with an aluminum battery is just the piece that reveals the whole picture. And you know what's scariest for those on the other side? This scale isn't just possible. It's already happening. Tesla's factories in Shanghai and Austin are already adapted to produce 46 and 80 cells in volume. And the aluminum ion will leverage the exact same infrastructure. This eliminates the cost of building new lines and accelerates production like a missile. The result? A 30% cost savings compared to lithium-ion batteries, even before factoring in tax incentives and economies of scale. By now, what seemed like theory has become practice at a rapid pace. While competitors still argue in boardrooms about what the fuel of the future will be, Tesla is already testing, tweaking, and improving its aluminum-ion battery in conditions that would make any other experimental project collapse. And when we talk about testing, we don't mean a temperature-controlled laboratory with people in lab coats tinkering with droppers. We're talking simulated urban tests, uneven roads, extreme heat, heavy traffic, sudden acceleration, and continuous braking. It's technological torture, and it's working. Today, Tesla is estimated to be producing between 100 and 200 prototype cells per day, distributed among centers such as the KO Factory, Giga Nevada, and the Advanced Research Laboratories linked to the University of Queensland. The latter, in fact, has become a key piece in this puzzle, bringing impressive advances in aluminum chemistry, especially in stability and longevity control. What once seemed like an intractable problem capacity loss over time, is now virtually non-existent. The lab data is almost unbelievable. The aluminum ion batteries tested maintained 99% of their capacity after 10,000 full recharge cycles. For comparison, the best lithium ion batteries begin to truly lose power between 1,000 and 2,000 cycles. This not only increases the car's lifespan, but can literally eliminate the need for battery replacement throughout the vehicle's lifespan. It's as if an electric car finally delivers what it always promised, but never achieved, longevity without excessive maintenance. Of course, not everything was simple. Until recently, aluminum technology faced a formidable enemy, moisture. It corroded the electrodes and created instability. But Tesla, using a combination of engineering and patience, solved the problem with a compound called fluoroethylene carbonate. This modification protects the electrode and stabilizes the chemical interaction even under adverse conditions. It's the kind of solution that separates those who do research from those who just get their hands dirty. Furthermore, these tests aren't restricted to the lab. Prototypes are already running, undercover, 
on the streets of Palo Alto, Austin, and even on private Tesla tracks. This shows that the current stage is no longer viable or conceptual. It's real pre-production, with a focus on reliability and replication at scale. And, let's face it, no company gets to this point unless it's 200% confident the product will hold up. The secret to this confidence seems to lie in the symbiosis between academia and industry. Tesla provides the field data, the engineers, and the pressure for results. The university brings the foundational research, modeling, and theory. And together, they are accelerating a process that would normally take decades to achieve. Instead, in less than five years, the aluminum battery has gone from an academic draft to one of the most promising projects in global electric mobility. With so many impressive numbers surrounding the battery, many people almost forgot to look at the car itself. But when Tesla released the first official information about the 2026 Model 2, the market realized they were looking at something even bigger. It wasn't just a revolutionary new battery, it was a complete vehicle, redesigned from the ground up to take advantage of every advantage that aluminum ion offers. The idea? A compact, affordable, highly technological car. And most importantly, with a range that would scare even the most skeptical. The figures first leaked on forums, then were confirmed in certification documents. 600 miles of range, or nearly 600 miles on a single charge. That's not just more than enough. It's more than any current electric car offers at this price. And the most incredible thing is that this feat doesn't require huge or heavy batteries. On the contrary, the energy density of aluminum, combined with the Model 2's new structural design, made it possible to fit everything into a smaller, lighter, and safer space. Another dramatic change was the way Tesla integrated the battery into the chassis. Inspired by the ideas that emerged with the Model Y and Model S Plaid, the company took the structural battery concept to the extreme. Now, the aluminum ion battery pack is part of the car's floor, lowering the center of gravity and freeing up interior space. This means more comfort, greater cornering stability, and handling that promises to be worthy of a sports car, even though it's a city hatchback. And the price? Well, there's the coup de grace. With federal and state incentives in the U.S., the Model 2 could sell for less than $13,000. This makes it the electric car with the best range per dollar ever made. It's no longer a vehicle for enthusiasts or wealthy people trying to appear eco-friendly. It's a car for the average worker, for the family needing to save fuel, for the young person who wants to ditch public transportation without going into debt for years. Interestingly, despite being a compact car, the Model 2 didn't skimp on technology. It will come with Tesla's AI5 chip, the same one that powers the Cybertruck's advanced autonomous modes and will have full support for autopilot and FSD beta. In other words, besides being affordable and powerful, it will also be one of the smartest cars in the Tesla fleet and this could radically transform urban traffic in large cities. But the impact goes far beyond the garage. With this kind of autonomy, the car also becomes a tool for delivery drivers, commercial fleets, app drivers, and even small businesses that need reliable, low-cost mobility. The Model 2 isn't being sold as a luxury. It's being positioned as a tool for work, survival, and savings. If the Model 2 already seemed revolutionary as a vehicle, what follows shows that it can be much more than a car. Musk let slip, in one of his quick indirect interviews, that the goal was not just to make an affordable EV, but to create a key part of a new decentralized energy grid. It may seem like an exaggeration at first glance, but when you look at the Model 2's 60 kWh battery, from another perspective, the picture changes completely. We're talking about a car that can power homes, appliances, and even entire communities in critical situations. This idea gains even more strength when considering the scalability of aluminum batteries. They are easier to produce locally, cheaper to transport, and don't require the same extreme levels of refrigeration and shielding. 
This makes it possible to create regional microfactories where batteries can be assembled near consumer centers, eliminating logistical bottlenecks and creating a new vehicle-based energy production chain. Each Model 2 becomes, in effect, a smart mobile energy node, ready to power whatever is needed. In remote regions, where traditional electrical infrastructure is non-existent or unstable, this capability can be transformative. Imagine remote villages that have never had reliable access to electricity now being able to run refrigerators, charge cell phones, keep schools running, and power medical equipment, all with the energy stored in a Tesla parked nearby. And best of all, no need to rely on cables, transformers, or noisy and polluting generators. Just the car, the sun, and the intelligence built into the battery. Another scenario where this solution shines is in urban areas affected by natural disasters, hurricanes, floods, blackouts in major cities. The Model 2 could be the front line in rapid response. Its battery can power emergency systems, temporary Wi-Fi stations, and rescue equipment, all while the car is stationary, silent, and autonomous. It's as if the car becomes a mini hospital, a power server, a support center, all in one machine. And we're not talking about the distant future. V2L, vehicle to load, and V2H, vehicle to home, testing is already underway in parallel with Model 2 prototypes. Tesla is optimizing the software so that the car intelligently decides when to power the home, when to store energy, and when to return energy to the grid if connected to a smart microgrid. This transforms the simple idea of charging the car into a dynamic energy management system. If it already seemed bold to transform a car into a power source for communities, what about a battery that doesn't feel cold or heat, that operates stably in heavy snow or under scorching sun, without losing performance? This is precisely the promise of the aluminum ion technology at the heart of the Model 2. And it's not just marketing hype, it's concrete data, derived from studies at the University of Queensland and reinforced by Tesla's own field tests. The operating range of these batteries extends from 40 to Greater's D to plus 80 to C, with zero functional degradation. Translating this into reality, the same car that travels 600 miles in Texas at 40 to C D will deliver the same performance in a frozen Siberian village. This eliminates one of the biggest limitations of conventional electric vehicles. Lithium batteries, as we know, hate extreme temperatures. In the cold, they lose range. In the heat, they risk overheating. Aluminum, with its solid composition and structure, simply ignores these climate variations as if they were irrelevant. This extreme resilience opens a new frontier for electric mobility. Now, regions where electric cars were previously considered unviable are becoming fertile ground. From Canadian mountainous areas to African deserts, including humid tropical zones and coastal cities with high salinity, the Model 2 will be able to operate in all these places without modifications to the battery system. This is almost like giving the car a natural shield against the entire planet. And this durability isn't just beneficial for the driver. It also reduces maintenance costs as it eliminates the need for auxiliary active cooling systems, excessive thermal insulation, or compensatory technologies. Fewer parts, less chance of failure, and greater simplicity. This reduces production costs and increases consumer confidence in taking an EV to places previously 